Mheshimiwa wa bunge la county la Nairobi la eneo la Korogosho aliweza kushtakiwa kwa kosa ambalo serikali ilisema kwamba alikuwa anaanzisha matamshi yenye kuleta shida na fujo katika taifa la Kenya. Sisi tumeweza kutoa ushahidi wa kesi ambapo wale ambao wakati huo walikuwa wanakamatwa na kutumiwa kwa tuhuma kama hizo waliweza kukamatwa kesi ya senator Johnston Mudhama ambapo alikuwa amekamatwa yeye mwenyewe na waziri ambaye ni wa industry Moses Kuria waziri Aisha Jumwa na wote wale waliokamatwa kwa hiyo sehemu ya sheria kesi ilipoenda mahakamani majaji watatu katika mahakama kuu ya Kenya Justice Luka Kimaru Justice Mativo na Justice Jesse Lesit ambao ni majaji wakati huo wakiwa katika ile mahakama ya Constitution waliweza kusikiza ile kesi na kusema kwamba sehemu ya na sita ya sheria za penal code zile zinatuhumu katiba ya Kenya uhuru wa Kenya na zikasema kwamba zile ile kipengele ni unconstitutional Attorney General akapewa muda wa mwaka mmoja kuchukua ile bungeni na kupitisha ile sheria ili mkenya yote asiweze kukamatwa kwa ile sheria serikali imetulia ni sheria ambayo haimo baada ya miaka mitatu wamekuja kumkamata MCA wa Korogocho kwa sheria ambayo haijulikani tumeweza kuonyesha mahakama kwamba ile ni siasa ile ni fujo ni njia za kugandamiza wale wafuasi sugu wa chama cha azimio na mawakili wao nikiwaongoza tumesimama na kwa sababu hiyo ameweza kuachiliwa sababu hakuna sheria yoyote ya kuweza kumkamata sheria ile ilitupwa na mahakama kuu kwa hivyo tunashukuru mahakama kwa kusimamisha njia ambayo ilikuwa inaanza kufunguliwa ya kushika wale ambao wana msimamo tofauti na serikali iliyo uongozini in summary we presented a petition before the court that has declared section 96 unconstitutional and we gave the evidence that justice lesit justice mativo and justice luka kimaru declared section 96 unconstitutional i did put it to the court and i put it to the public that we are now heading to the time of the old era where people were being arrested arraigned in court thank god the judiciary nowadays is firm is uh, is not going to bend to any excessive force applied to it and out of it mushimiwa is now free completely and we said as azimio leader uh, lawyers the majority leader is here he'll talk about it mushimiwa will address his constituents that the law will not be bent under my watch as the lead counsel for azimio i will defend anybody whether in kenya kwanza whether in azimio i will stand for the rule of law regardless who and which political formation it is this country will only grow far if we uphold the rule of law from both sides so i'm calling upon the office of the dci the office of the dci not to bring people without any justification and have been given very firm instructions to pursue the office of the dci 
for wrongful confinement. It is malicious. It is, it is very painful. Mwishimiu has been embarrassed. He has been paraded everywhere, the whole world, that he wants to cause bloodshed in this country. Yet, there is no offense to that effect. So we'll be moving to court tomorrow immediately to start a malicious uh, prosecution and detention of my client without any lawful or legal reasons as to why this was done. So we have put government on notice. Allow me to call the majority leader to represent all the elected leaders to say one word before the client responds. Oh, sorry. So well, let me take this opportunity to say thank you to Dan Sonomari, an entire legal team that has fought so tirelessly. I believe for them to get this right, they didn't sleep yesterday. Despite the fact our leader was also not sleeping in a prison, I believe also our lawyers didn't sleep yesterday. True. First of all, thank you so much for the dedication and for the good work well done. Thanks. For the cause of democracy and the cause of this future of this country. Number two, I want to thank all the members of the county assembly for being in solidarity with our leader, all the members of Korokocho Ward, all the media team who highlighted this. We say thank you so much. As you are speaking, I was just watching my phone. I think they have known already Matach is out. Now they have also someone on Tuesday. We are not scared. I just see on my phone a someone to appear before NCIC. As I was just standing here. But we have no problem. We are not scared. Eh? We will go on, on Tuesday at 11 a.m. to hear what they have to say. Because this country belongs to all of us. And we must all of us fit inside it. If we can't fit inside this country, then get us another country. We must all fit in. And I said yesterday, in the resolve of all Azimio leaders, if you want to dare us, please arrest Raila Amolo Odinga. And we still insist on that. Matach cannot even kill a fly. He's a young man who just told businessmen, for Azimio, don't open your businesses. Come, let's go to Jacaranda. And Jacaranda, everyone could see, the world could see what happened in Jacaranda. Jacaranda was full to brim to listen to their supreme leader. And you are ready anytime, any day to die for it. Thank you. Mimi nitaongea kwa Kiswahili. Leo hii naona niko huru. Kwanza nataka nishukuru mawakili ambaye wameniwakilisha na wametoa mambo mazito mazito mpaka watu wakashtuka pale kwa koti. Ya pili nataka nishukuru ofisi ya majority leader na Robi County kiongozo na Ematok na mheshimiwa Ogeto na MCS wote wa Capital City of Nairobi. Mimi ni mwarudishia shukurani kubwa sana kwa kusimama na matakuwe imobimba. Na wale watu ambao wametoka kila kona from Kibra to Madhare to Ruaraka everywhere langata ni maona kweli matakuwe imobimba yuko imara. You know, na ile ile team yangu ya town ya jeshi ya Kamae bomb squad to go gangari. Sawa sawa. Na mimi nataka nimdushie mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga shukurani kwa sababu yeye ndio baba wa mababa. Yeye ndio father wa mafadhe. Kwa hivyo sisi hatutatishiwa. Majority leader mimi nitasimama na wewe kwa sababu ulisimama na mimi. Nikikupigia simu unashika una respond immediately with effect. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niseme muniwache niende kwangu nenda nipapase bibi yangu hata kidogo. <laughs> Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo na shukuru watu wa Nairobi na wakili Omari. Wewe ni wakili jasiri. Wakili Greg, wakili jasiri. Wakili Osawa, wakili jasiri. Tuko na madam hapa mrembo, tunasikia kimwaga maneno. Wakili pale akimwaga maneno. The young man pale anaitwa Wamboi ya manani. Kemboi ya kwa hapa kwa bi Kemboi. Roho mdogo, kijana mdogo na kuombea mema kwa kazi yako ya wakili. Kwa hivyo watu wa media, mimi niko gangari na kwa watu wa Korogocho, mnajua mlinichagua, niwawakilishe na Korogocho zitalisha rada. Kazi inaendelea. Sawa sawa. Niliwashukuru sana. God bless you. I love you. Santeni. Kuna maswali? Hebu hebu hebu. Hebu. 
you said over the, the charges that brought you to court. Do you regret what you said? I regret that I have said that the law is not going to be done. This is the law that we have to do with the law that we have to do with the machine. The law is not going to be done. We have to do with the law, isn't it? We have to do with the law that we have to do with the law. And we have to defend the law. And I want to say that Omar, the police that we have to do with the law is now. Na wakasema raundi hii hichi imebadilika. Wakasema namna hii Omari umekuwa wakilisha ukiwakilisha mapolisi na wana respect zaidi. Kwa hivyo wamesema mapolisi hiyo ujinga hao watambui ni yale tu wanachukua uda dogondogo huko juu kwa sababu ya kuvutu wa kazi. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niambie Omari ile kazi unafanya kwa pa makama mapolisi wanakubaliana na wewe. Na uende uwakalisha zaidi wakifanyiwa makosa washughulikie. Tula. Asante. Tula. Tu no!